but it was frightening. And while Brooke has admitted to past drug use, if she had been using drugs while she was pregnant, that could have led to problems with the boy's birth, says Ken Seeley, a longtime addiction specialist, seen for several seasons on A&E's intervention. You see it all the time. I mean, there's a lot of treatment centers for pregnant mothers. It's harming for the children. We were with Brooke and Charlie soon after the kids were brought home from the hospital. The couple said it was primarily Brooke's medical issues, which included high blood pressure and liver problems that forced the early birth. She would have been in, in, in serious jeopardy had they stayed in longer. For his part, Charlie quite proudly tested clean as seen Monday on GMA. But could he have faked the results? Seely says quite easily. There's so many ways to manipulate a urine test. You know, you could put bleach underneath your fingernail and drop it into the urine before you turn it in. As for the blood test, Seely says an addict can test clean by not using for 72 hours. A clean test tells us that he waited 72 hours, took a test, came out negative, but then what happened the minute after he gave blood? Did he start using again? It looks like it from the behaviors. Charlie also claims to have been healing at home at the so-called Sober Valley Lodge and even publicly denigrated one recovery program Monday on Pierce Morgan Tonight. When was the last time you took a drug? I don't know because I'm not being, um, you know, held hostage by AA anymore. Um, I don't count my days. But a supervised recovery program may be exactly what Charlie Sheen most needs now. Not working any longer. The kids being taken away. Addicts don't stop without consequences. They just don't. What needs to happen is he has to surrender. You me feel very uneasy. Erratic, shocking, scary, threatening. Charlie Sheen, described by Capri Anderson, the adult film star police found locked in a bathroom at New York's Plaza Hotel. Reportedly, Sheen was found naked and intoxicated. I saw him snort a white powdery substance. The media blitz from that incident has the 22-year-old seeking the services of plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Persky. She remembers the night well. I could 